attends any ecosystem. Whenever food piles up, predators show up, and the hunt is on. Hesperornis is tearing through the fish right now. They're eating like crazy. Hesperornis can't tear up their prey like modern birds do, so they gotta swallow everything whole. So whatever they hunt has to be small enough to go down in one bite. Hesperornis is built for diving. They use their legs and webbed feet to power through the water. They chase down fish underwater, and they're fast at it. Hesperornis has a long, sharp beak with tiny teeth that curve backward. You don't see that in birds. These teeth let them grip slippery fish and hold on tight. Once they clamp down on prey, it's not getting away. Those webbed feet give them the push they need to keep hunting. But once other predators show up, this free meal stops being just for Hesperornis. Espictinus arrives, and it's a straight-up killer. Shadows start appearing where all the fish are. These five-meter things are some of the biggest and meanest hunters in the ocean. They're the top predators that ruled the western interior seaway back in the late Cretaceous. Espictinus looks like a monster with a mouth full of fangs. With that mouth, it can swallow multiple fish in one bite. It can actually swallow prey that's half its size. Hole. We found fossils of a 4-meter Esphictinus with an 1.8-meter sawfish still inside its stomach. That shows you how crazy these predators were at hunting. At first, fish are everywhere, so all the hunters eat easy. But once the fish start running out, the predators gotta find something else to eat. The tables turn really fast when food gets scarce. Hesperornis, at like 1.8 meters now has to run. Yeah, they can't keep up with Cyptinus going 50 to 80 kilometers per hour, but Hesperornis is a good diver and can move around underwater to stay away. They can only go 15 to 25 kilometers per hour, but that's enough to get away. For Espictinus, Hesperornis is just another meal. To them, everything is food, even other ones if they're smaller. Within minutes, all the fish are gone. The ocean gets quiet again, 